Welcome to Fit Body Lifestyle, the show where we dive deep into the world of fitness, health, business, relationships, and the art of living a balanced life. I'm Jamie. And I'm Greg, and we're here to give you the benefit of our experiences in the fitness and bodybuilding industry, the corporate world, running a business, personal development, and building healthy relationships. Whether you're sweating it out in the gym, hustling in your business, or seeking balance in your everyday life, you're in the right place. So lace up those sneakers and grab that water bottle and let's get ready to transform our minds, our bodies, and our lives. Welcome back to Fit Body Lifestyle and another one of our awesome fusion hacks. I'm so excited to be here with my partner in life here, Papa Bear, Mr. Greg D. Bernard. Hola. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about specifically show feedback, um, receiving it, processing it, applying it. Those are the three tips right there. And and maybe we start out with this is that you've just done your competition, you've prepped for however many weeks, um, or, or, you know, in some case, you know, you've prepared for this for some time, um, not just the prep for the show, but the, the improvement season that predated that, whatever, you know, whatever lifestyle that you've been leading up to that, that stage, you're at the show, um, depending on the size of the show, you may go on at nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then you come back at seven, eight o'clock at night for the finals. And the judges are there to interface with hopefully, um, and, and get that feedback from. So, how do you put yourself in the right mindset, first of all, to receive that feedback? Well, I'd love to talk about, first of all, like get, like when and where do you get the feedback? Fair, so, that, just like, yeah. so let's just, because let's let's, you did bring that up yep. and I think that's an important point. I encourage people, listen, you've worked so hard to get there for your show day. If the judges are willing to stay after, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. If they are willing to stay after, please go and get them face to face because you can actually have a conversation and you can ask questions. So, you know, getting that face to face time. And I've even um, on many occasions gotten feedback for, for an athlete in person and, and the judge will say something and I'll have that athlete, okay, hit that pose. Let's look at that. Is, is this what you mean? So that that way I can even take that level of clarity to the next level. So if you have that opportunity it's not always there when you do take advantage of it if you don't have that opportunity then the next best thing is to find out who's giving feedback from that show usually the promoter can tell you um, which judge is giving the feedback and then give you an email address that you could then send them an email um, the thing I want to encourage you to do when you send that email is send your name your competitive number um, your competitor number, what class you were in, what division and what class you're in. So if I'm bikini class C, masters 35, plus, what, whatever it is, like give the specifics. And then if there are pictures on the NPC News online page, I also put the link. So make it as easy on the judges yep. as possible to give you as much feedback as possible. And identify the show if you can't find the link on NPC News to say, um, I competed this weekend at Nashville Fit Show and, and I'm in in the bikini division and I competed in these three classes and the hero is my number. And I, this is the feedback and any feedback you would like, you can provide would be appreciated. So, right. I've had multiple yeah. people tell me lately that, um, their, their coaches told them not to get feedback at a show. And I'm thinking, why, why? would you not want feedback? You know, you know, and because the coaches will say, well, I, I already know what you need to do. Well, you know, if you knew exactly what that person needed to do, it would have been done and you wouldn't have needed the feedback. So Fair. anyway, I mean, I, to me, that's, you know, like take advantage of it. Yeah. I've heard that from a number of people and, and you know, that, that just to short this, be, just because this is a fusion hack is that some people are not finding that valuable. I, I disagree with that hundred percent. I think, you know, we really espouse the philosophy and the mindset of go to the show for the feedback, not for the trophy, because the feedback is going to the feedback in this sport in this life style is what allows you to be better. Yeah. Uh, and whether it, and some feedback may not apply, some feedback does, but you're never going to know if you don't get it. Yeah. So get the feedback and make that a priority. And I know that the point that I was making in, in detailing the show is that we know you, you want to go, you want to go eat, you have family there, you have friends there, you want to go. And sometimes the bigger the show, the longer it takes to get the feedback and these long lines. And I get that. I would say plan around that because the priority for you at a competition, it, unless this is a one and done, Hey, look, I'm just getting on stage is a bucket list item. I don't want to ever compete again, then fine. That, that's a different circumstance. But if your desire is to continue in this sport and to continue to be better, then stick around for the feedback because that's going to be more valuable to you than any trophy, uh, than any accolades, than any, hey, you were the best, what, whatever the case is, that feedback's really going to help you elevate to that, whatever that next level is for you. 
Right. And this past weekend, we had two pro shows. We had multiple pros in each show. And even though I'm at shows every single weekend, I'm coaching high level athletes, Olympians. I actually got feedback on a couple of athletes that wasn't exactly what I expected. So now I have a better idea of what that judge is seeing when they're looking at this, these particular athletes. So it was really helpful for me, even as long as I've been doing this. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if you've got, you know, whether you've got a brand new coach who just started coaching or somebody who's been around for a really long time, to me, like that's how we learn and grow as coaches is by getting that feedback and then being able to go and apply going forward. And and the the sport keeps evolving. So you have to keep getting feedback because the judges are also you know, evolving and growing and the their the, perception. The judges have meetings and they talk, they have annual meetings, they have meetings throughout the year. They, they are constantly touching base with each other about the criteria because there are criteria for each of the divisions and divisions, not divisions, divisions. And the judges are consistently talking about the application of that criteria to the to the athletes that participate in that show so when you don't get that feedback you are missing a very important pot part of your roadmap of oh hey there's a sign up here i'm you don't drive by the road sign and not look at it because it may be the turn that you need to make right so get it get the feedback prioritize that make that a priority and plan for it when you're going to a show just plan on either the meal being delayed or or doing something the next bring day yourself a snack. or bring bring yourself a snack that's why we always tell people to bring food to the to the night show because you want to be able to you know stick it out and hear that feedback so get it process it meaning just think about think about it and part of processing also means clarify it when you're getting the feedback just what you say um okay i want you to be fuller well when you say fuller does that mean bigger does that mean you know what what does that mean um fuller the sometimes the judges will use words and if you don't spend the time to just ask a little clarity and maybe sometimes you think you know what they mean and they may mean something different. So definitely get that clarity. That's the process at piece. And then the third piece is apply it. Yeah. So I want to just really quick yeah, sure. give a we give a quick example of of the the clarity. Um we had an athlete who actually won the show this past weekend. Her feedback was to bring in the the core a little bit tighter. Now this athlete was very lean and did not need to be leaner. So the clarification to the judge was, do you mean you want to see her leaner? Do you mean tighter like that? And the judge was like, no, 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 no leaner. What I want to see is a little bit more control. So it was just that there was a little bit of that lower belly control that needed to happen. Um, so that's where asking questions, if you're not clear, um, the, one, another um, example of one I hear quite often is the tighter. So you know, sometimes the judges will say, we want to see you tighter in the glutes. At that point, what you need to ask is, do I need to be leaner? Or do I need to be fuller? Because those two things can produce a tighter look. So let's say you don't have enough muscle or enough muscle density. If you just keep getting leaner and leaner and leaner, it's not going to fix the issue. Right. So that's where not just getting the feedback, but getting the feedback and making sure you understand it and you're clear on it is what's going to then produce the opportunity to create the results that are going to allow you to keep you know, doing better in the sport. As, as my infantry instructor once said, use precise terms precisely. Attack means something different than an assault. And in this world, leaner means something different than being conditioned, means something different than being fuller, means something than, different than being bigger. Um, you, you've just got to clarify what is meant by those terms. Okay, so I think that wraps us up on this fusion hack. So feedback, we endorse it 100%. Definitely have that mindset of competing for the feedback. Get it process it, apply it. And remember the three B's, be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And be safe. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in to Fit Body Lifestyle. We hope today's episode has left you feeling motivated and equipped to tackle your fitness goals, business challenges, and the daily dance of life. Remember to value progress over perfection. Life's tough enough alone. Find the chosen family around you to help you along the way. If you enjoyed today's episode, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and leave us a review on your favorite streaming platform. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at FitBodyFusion.